Welcome everyone, and uh, here's an archaeological find that I found at the in the creek of the old house that we're clearing out. It's a 1970s or 1980s computer terminal. I'm not sure what type or brand. Someone, one of you guys, are probably going to recognize it. It was uh, buried under some carpet, so the carpet kind of helped protect it, but it was pretty much buried in mud. And uh, as you can see, there's still a lot of dirt inside of there. I've got the board taken out. That transformer is going to be completely rusted out and useless. But if the tube is good and I can get the circuit board working, it might still have some life in it, but I'm not going to expect much. I'll clean it up the best I can and you see it'll... it had a tree growing right next to it, a small one. I had to cut down with the skill battery operated skill saw. It was real hard to get the carpet off because the roots were growing through the carpet as well. I've got a second one still in the trailer. It's also a terminal. It's pretty crusty. It's got no cores or anything going off the back. In fact, I can't even recognize the back end. I've got everything in the way right now. It's just, you can barely see a BNC connector back there. It's so badly corroded, but it was right next to the other one. And it's got, looks like a keyboard lock there. Let me show you the circuit board to the other one. So here's the circuit board to the first one I showed you. As you can see, it's pretty gnarly. You get, even got roots growing between the legs of the chips. A lot of tantalums. You know, rusted out crystals. They probably no longer function. Even if they were intact, they... Uh, the crystal wouldn't resonate because they're not sealed. And those, one of them's completely corroded off of there. Uh, let's see if I can get any markings off of it to figure out what frequency it is. Or what processor this is right here. It's a uh, it's an 8085. I've got a ton of those so if that's bad I can replace it. And I know those processors pretty well. And uh, this wouldn't be well I mean aside from all the tantalums check for shorts tantalums throw tantrums to terrify timid technicians that's a tongue twister all these uh, socketed chips have to very carefully remove them because they are probably programmable ROM chips I'll have to, what I'll do is I'll clean them around them, inspect the legs, like that one there. I don't think I'm going to be able to remove that without breaking the legs completely off. And if I can read them and get the data off of them for the character ROMs or whatever, or the code that runs on that microprocessor. Yeah. So it's a pretty sad board. But wouldn't be the first time I salvaged a computer. Uh, I had a friend back in grade school. I think I was uh, 15 or 16 years old. And this was back in like 2006, 2007, 2008. Somewhere within that five year span. It might have been later. It might have been around 2010. But he had a computer that his mother threw out in the sandbox a few years before because she got angry at it for whatever reason. And it sat out there for God knows how long. And uh, he asked if I could fix it. I told him, well, <laughs> that's uh, unlikely, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. So I opened it up and it had been laying down where the motherboard was flat and silt had been covering it and I guess that's what protected it. And I was able to clean it up enough to get the motherboard to work. And it was a shock whenever the uh, the network lights lit up and blinked for the first time. Of course, the power supply and hard drives were toast, but we were broke kids, didn't have any money. And 
we got it working. We played video games on it and stuff. Actually, I think it was my brother's friend, but yeah, we still played video games on it. It was a lot of fun. Anyhow, I'll see uh, what I can do. Thanks for watching.